in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a legend to go with our drawing sheets. So I have right here my demo plan, and I'm going to create a legend to show what is being existing and what's going to be demolished. So I'm going to come and scroll down over here to where it says legends. I'm going to right click and say new legend. And I'm just going to call this one the demolition legend. I'm going to keep it at quarter inch scale and click OK. First thing that I need to do is I need to create a title. So I'm going to use my text note fe feature. For the title, I'm going to bump this up to a quarter inch. So demolition legend. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw just a detail line. I'm going to switch this to a wide line. Let me turn my thin light off so you can see what's going on. So my existing walls are going to be gray, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to override the graphic element of this. So I'll click this paintbrush and then override by element. And I'm just going to check this box that says half tone. What this will do is this will make that line gray. And then I'm going to come back to my text note, do my 332nd. And so I'm going to call this existing walls. Or I should just say existing elements because my countertops and things like that will also be a line. I'm just going to try and center that just a little bit. And then I'm going to copy these. And then I'm going to change this line to my demolished line. And then we're going to say this is my demolish elements. And then I'm going to click out of this and then I can come over here, grab my demolition legend, go in the corner like this. And if I click this right here, click the drop down. I can choose this option that says no title. What that's going to do is that's going to get rid of that view title, which I really don't need. So I'm going to say no title. Now, the reason we do legend views in Revit is that I can put this on more than one sheet. So I can put this on my first floor demo, led, demo sheet, and I can also put this on my basement demo sheet. But the other thing is I want this to also be in the same spot every time. So what I'm going to do I'm just going to drag this kind of over to the corner like this. I can double click and this opens up the legend view just like you would with a floor plan view. And I'm just going to come in here. I'm going to draw a reference plane about right here. And then now when I come, I can drag this out a little bit. I can use my move tool and just like my sheet views on my sheet, I can use that reference plane and I can snap this to the lines of the title block. So now that will be in the same corner. And the other thing about this is that I can also then come in here and I can duplicate this legend. I got to duplicate with detailing because there's only annotations in this view. If I just hit duplicate, I'm going to get a blank view. So I'm going to duplicate with detailing. And this is going to be my floor plan legend. Same thing over here. I'm going to rename this one to say floor plan. And now I can change this back to a wide line. I've got to re half tone this one. And this will now be my new elements. And then now when I come to my first floor plan, I can do this. I can drag this over here, get rid of my view title, and use my move tool. And then I would do the same thing for my basement new plan. And this ensures that my legend is in the same spot every time. So now that I've done that, I should have a legend for my new plan and a legend for my demo plan. And that's everything that I would need to make this sheet complete.